Well, it's time for another Patreon poll. This week, I asked patrons of The Humanist Report who their second choice is in 2020. Now, this is something that I was really curious to find out. This doesn't matter too much because we're all going to be voting for our first choice, but this is something that I think I've been relatively conflicted with throughout the course of the 2020 primary. You know, in the beginning, I kind of wavered back and forth between Tulsi Gabbard and Elizabeth Warren, although as the primary progressed, I realized that it's okay to not have a second choice. Like, I really don't have a second choice. I think that Bernie Sanders is my first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on choice because nobody else really meets my criteria. Like, I don't want a reformer. I want a revolutionary. I want a paradigm shift in this country. And Bernie is the only person who I believe will actually bring about real change. So, you know, I'm not going to fault myself for not picking, you know, a third, fourth, fifth choice. You know, I'll admit now that a distant, distant second for me, um, really my 99th choice with Bernie being one through 98 would be Elizabeth Warren. But I'm going to fight for Bernie Sanders until, you know, he's out of this because I absolutely believe that he's what we need at this point in time. But with that being said, I asked you guys what you thought and uh, your responses were very interesting. So in first place, the second choice for most of you with 41 votes is also Elizabeth Warren. So you agree with me there. And then predictably, Tulsi Gabbard comes in second with 27 votes. Andrew Yang with two votes, Marianne Williamson with one vote, and then we have Bernie Sanders with 11 votes, meaning that to these people, either Elizabeth Warren or Tulsi Gabbard are their first choice, and then we have other with four votes. Now let's see what you guys say about this. Naomi the Born Owl says, as Nina says, there's only one. There's only one person who's going to fight for us. There's only one person that will make our lives better. That's Bernie. Jolyn McCulley says, I don't trust Warren. Tulsi showed integrity in 2016 when she stepped down, when she saw the DNC cheating the democratic process while Warren was bowing down to the queen behind closed doors, hoping for a VP position. Tulsi would shiv Trump in a debate while Trump will be tap dancing on Pocahontas' political grave. Tulsi also appeals to more independents and Republicans, while Warren's key support is white, upper-class Harvard elites. If the goal is to beat Trump, as the DNC and party leadership claims, then there is only Bernie or Tulsi. Christopher says Warren is not as good as Sanders on a lot of issues, but she does support Medicare for All and a lot of more progressive issues that are important to me. I do have a problem with what she said in 2016. If she had listened to Bernie back then, she might be president today. But just on an issue-by-issue -issue basis, she is a great second choice. I do hope she drops out soon and endorses Bernie, though. Jay Miller says Tulsi Gabbard has done multiple interviews on fucking Breitbart. Breitbart is stormfront for people who aren't as open about the fact that they are Nazis. She could do better than Breitbart. Dave Rubin and even Fox News are better than Breitbart. She's explicitly going after white supremacist support and consequentially has taken any remaining sympathy I may have left for her and flushed it. She went on there this time to fearmonger and pandered to the alt-right about immigration. Bye. Having said that, my second choice is holding my nose for Elizabeth Warren and is Marianne Williamson, even still running. I thought she dropped out. Patrick, number one. Bernie, number two. Bernie. Charles Washington. Warren is the only candidate who can make any claim to being a Bernie Light candidate, albeit laughably so. Additionally, she is the only serious candidate who supports a federal jobs guarantee. I think the importance of a federal jobs guarantee is understated. I fail to see how one can claim to be serious about combating climate change without having a centralized effort to do so now that the stakes have escalated perilously high. Market forces have failed to make the proper investments into green energy because because it is more profitable, along with less risky for them to simply invest in already established markets. In fact, this entire crisis is their fault to begin with, considering they sat on the information of profit-driven industrial production's effect on climate for decades without saying a word. Borgon says, I voted other because a third-party candidate would probably be my go-to should Bernie not get the nomination. I have been so thoroughly disappointed with Dems for so long that Bernie, rather than being some wacko extremist pick, to me represents 
represents a concession that a compromise and a dose of socialism can reform what seems to be a system nearly beyond repair. Bernie's my compromise candidate. Otherwise, I see next to nothing in the Dems worth supporting. He brought me into the Dem fold very tenuously from third parties, slash not voting at all in prior elections, and I may very well leave that fold if he doesn't get the nomination. So there you have it, a couple of different takes as to why they are choosing, you know, Tulsi or Elizabeth Warren or none as their uh, second choice. And yeah, this is really uh, important feedback. Um, good insight. Thank you all so much for sharing. And as usual, I'm going to turn this to the audience who's watching this on YouTube. Who is your second choice and why? I look forward to uh, hearing from you. You heard from me, you heard from uh, patrons of the Humanist Report. But sound off in the comments. Who's your second choice, if you even have one? Because I think it's perfectly acceptable to say it's Bernie. Bernie's my number one, my number two, my number three, my number four. I think that's perfectly reasonable because he really is a once-in-a-lifetime candidate who is unlike everyone else who's running. So um, let me know what you think.